EA Sports. It's in the game. There's no doubt about it now. This guy has to be in the All Madden team.
just off the east bank of the Cumberland River and across the water from the Tennessee State Capitol building, there's a look at Nissan Stadium in Nashville. Tonight, week 15 begins with a great Thursday night matchup between the Miami Dolphins and the Tennessee Titans. The kicking team out for Miami as they will send this one away. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And he's probably realizing he should have stayed in the end zone as he can only muster a return to the 14-yard line. They go play action with Willis. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. Oh, that's in the double coverage and intercepted. Picked up by Javon Holland. And the Dolphins are going to have it here at their own 32-yard line. Well, they certainly took a shot to open this game. And it backfired with the interception. But no lack of bravado from that sideline at all. And look, they told us before the ball game, they wanted to be a little more dangerous on offense. They wanted to take a few more chances. That opening pass certainly set a tone. Maybe a turnover, but I don't think it'll stop him from trying again the rest of this game. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. Right, right. Right, right. Right. Another run here with Dobbins. And he'll be taken down at about the 45. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play. It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field. I'm like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. On second down, a run with Dobbins. Pushing forward for three up to the 48. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. They faked the handoff. Now Tua. And this pass broken up. Well, the contact well timed there, and now fourth down. Blake Gillikin on the punt now on fourth down. He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. And this will hit just beyond the goal line as it's into the end zone for a touchback. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And they've got to be thrilled to have this game still at nothing, nothing after the interception thrown on the very first play of the game. They certainly do. And what I enjoyed was watching him on the sidelines because as the defense came off, he was there to congratulate them and really say thanks because he threw the interception. It didn't turn into any points. Willis now off play action. Under a heavy rush and down he goes. Give the sack to Jerome Baker. Now the number one mission of any offensive line, you got to protect that quarterback, keep him safe back there. This time, the rush got to him in a hurry. Third down, it's Willis. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Woods. That he won't quite make it. He needed six, he got about five. Fourth down. Willis, fourth down here. That's into the hands of Donovan Peoples-Jones. And he is going to pick up the Titans first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. Charles, Thursday night game. I think a lot of teams probably say shrink the playbook somewhat. Is that correct? I think you're right about that because you just don't have the amount of time that you have in a normal week to put in a full playbook. So as you said, you shrink the playbook. Pick out the plays that work best for you. You know what else you're looking for? It's a, who are the freshest guys coming off the last game to play on a Thursday night? Guys have a little extra pep in their step. You go to them or really often. To the air on first down. Here's Willis. And that is incomplete. 
The Titans had eight and five to start play, and they come in off the extended break from the bye. And I think it was much needed as well because you play two, two and a half months. You know you're ready for some time off in order to get prepared for the home stretch. In Red fact, Wally. when they looked at the schedule to start the season, I think they liked where their open week fell. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. Here's Willis now off the play fake. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. They're bringing a lot of pressure here already in the first quarter. Already sacked him once. Now they get in there and knock another one away. You think maybe that tuck rule being gone makes defenses a lot bolder? Yes, indeed. That time, lucky that the arm was going forward. Incomplete pass. And that one's not going to get there. Not enough juice. An ambitious effort, but it's well short. And this will remain a scoreless game. Well, Brandon, anything beyond 50, you start rolling the dice a bit. And once you get up around 57, 58 yards, the chances of making it go down dramatically. And sure enough, this one winds up no good. And he's up over midfield and down into Tennessee territory. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure you're back. You spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders in the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. Now Dobbins again on second down. And some solid footwork there as he'll take this down to about the 38. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They'll go again with Dobbins. And that one opened up for him well as he'll take this down to the 26-yard line. 43 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive. Oh, looking for Ronald, but it's intercepted. It's Roger McCreary with a pick. And the Titans are going to get the football back at their own 17. Well, when I looked down, he was kind of shaking his head right after he threw that pass. So what did you see? Well, from a defense's perspective, anytime you have your eyes back towards the quarterback, you're in a position to make a play on the ball, whether it's a big-time play by you or an overthrow by the quarterback. You have a much better opportunity. Pass to 20 for a short gain, second down. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. And they'll keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. Now they're staring at a third and eight. That last play backwards a yard. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. On third down, it's Willis. Going for the deep ball. And that's caught inside the 35. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. Sometimes you just got to marvel at how these guys can throw the football. He gave that everything he had, and it was right on the money. Taken down at the 30. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he's trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Cut back team! Cut back team! From the 30 on second down, Willis. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Tough spot for Willis and the Titans, now facing third and long following the sack. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. Brandon Jones picking it off. And the Dolphins are going to take over here up near the 40. 
So consecutive interceptions here early on in this one and maybe setting the tone, Charles, for a game where the defense really takes center stage. And don't you think that both offenses are really catching the bit from their coaching staff about avoiding these turnovers that we've seen early? I think both teams are trying to find an advantage. We know that. Can one of them break away and take control of this game? Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. Okay, he's able to right. make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. Now Dobbins again on second down. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. They'll try to run for it with Dobbins. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. They're going for it with Dobbins. And he's got the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 49. Remember, that was fourth and a full two yards. There's a big difference between that and fourth and maybe six inches or a yard. Yeah, you're exactly right, because when it's that six inches, you just fall forward and you pick it up, right? You still quarterback sneak. But having to move bodies, that means you actually have to execute because they know what you're going to do. How are you going to make the right play call and get everyone into the right spot and win at the line of scrimmage? That's what they did there. Brandon, you know this is going to be discussed because this is the fear of all the backs when they run this type of a route. They've got to find the football, and sometimes they don't see the defender. And in this case, he took a pretty good shot for his efforts, but give him credit, able to hold on to the football. A quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. Here's play Here number seven on the drive. This is third and seven. Tug of Iloa working out of the gun. That's caught by his big tight end, Mike Kosicki. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans 23. That third down conversion, good for 23. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. They'll run up the gut with Dobbins. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Now a first and 10 at the 11. A give up the middle to Dobbins. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. That is caught inside the five. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him, even if he has an elite defender on him, because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Hawkins. Touchdown, Dolphins. A great play there. His fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Dolphins will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and it's now a 7-0 game. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And here 
Here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. A slim deficit here in a one possession game. Not much time left, obviously. We'll see if they can march this down the field, at least get three and take some momentum into the locker room. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. I believe I'm following their logic. Take the big shot downfield, loosen things up. You're hoping to get some points on the board before the half. Maybe now you come back and throw some underneath stuff in order to make sure you get a completion. To throw again on second down. Willis, that's complete to Peoples-Jones. Now the Titans will use their third and final timeout as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Play action, here's Willis. He sets to fire deep. He's got a man complete. And he will score. Touchdown, Titans. Donovan Peoples-Jones, 67 yards. And the Titans are an extra point away from tying the ball game here in the final minute of the first half. Extra point splits the uplinks. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half. He'll just take a knee, and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. Right about 20 yards on the pickup. Well, officially, they'll say it's going to go for 19. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. On play action, here's Tua. He'll take a shot for the end zone. He's got it. Touchdown, Dolphins. Tyreek Hill in the final seconds of the first half. And the Dolphins have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And that makes the score 14 to 7. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And with 10 seconds left, not really enough time to put something together. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. 
Just a gain of a yard in what all likelihood will be the final play of the first half. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. The Dolphins in front and they'll be in possession of the football first as the second half gets started. And this will not be returned, so the second half begins with a touchback. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. Play action, now it's Tua. He'll swing this out to Dobbins. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. Remember on their last drive, they had that pass play for a touchdown, and here they come out firing again. This play's not quite as good in the end result, but still good enough for a quick first down. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Dobbins trying the left side. And good running there as he'll take this all the way up to midfield. 77 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. Well, as we've learned over the years, just because a guy plays left tackle doesn't mean he doesn't have run blocking abilities. And we just saw it there. Controlled the line of scrimmage, created a big game. That's kind of a bonus. He's there to protect that high value that you have back under center, but he creates space in the run game. Yeah, not only can he dance, he can mash too. Now here's a throw that's complete. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you get much more balance than this. Big time run, big time pass. A one-two combination. Look pretty good. How about that? They, they, let's, see if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. And he'll follow his blockers there all the way down to the 23-yard line. 18 big yards on that one, and a Miami first. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. Right back to Dobbins on first. And able to work his way down to the 16. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football. Sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Off of play action. Tongue of Iloa. He's got long. His tight end complete. And the Dolphins are going to be set up with a first and goal here as the tackle made at the nine. Great mix of play calling so far. Three runs, three passes. All three passes have been completions. First and goal. I think on defense now, you have to almost take a chance. Rely on your scouting. Pick a play you think they would run here and just load up for it and see what happens. They'll run with Dobbins. He gets this down to the three, but no further. Brought the power run out of the bag and got a couple extra yards with it. He'll get six on the ground there, and it'll be second and goal coming up. Dobbins once more, and he'll be stopped up short as the tackle is made at about the three. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. <laughs> I have to laugh a little bit because 
he actually handed it off. I thought with the two touchdown passes he's thrown in this one already, he'd go ahead and fling and try and get a third. Yeah, now from this spot on third down, I think he's probably throwing here. Yeah, I don't think there's any question about it. They, they won't even... And he is in! Touchdown, Miami! His second rushing touchdown on the campaign and fourth overall. And the Dolphins take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Sanders now to add the extra point. It's good, and it is now 21-7. The kicking team out for Miami as they will send this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. They make their second half debut here. Things are looking a little bit tougher now. You give up the points there, Charles, that touchdown drive on the other side. So now it's a two-score game here. Got to be careful. They certainly do, and I'm just wondering at halftime if those guys just looked into each other's eyes and realized what they've got to get done and come out a little bit more charged up because they don't get some kind of points here. That next drive, that can make this a free possession game. So quickly all the way up at the 40-yard line. To the air on first down, here's Willis. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. Couple of first downs right in succession, and this is an offense that can really use a good drive, and they're off to a fast start here. First and 10, it's Willis. Finding his safety valve here, that's complete. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. Looking to throw again on second down. Willis, he's going to sling this deep downfield. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. There is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try to throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they were unsuccessful. Right back to the air with Willis. And that's going to be caught by Peoples Jones. And he will have a Titans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. Willis will look to throw on first down. And finding the tight end, Hooper. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. From the gun, here's Willis. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. It'll go as a gain of four, and that will bring up second down. One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. Second and six from the 10. Willis now off of play action. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Tough spot for Willis and the Titans now facing third and long following the sack. They'll look to throw here. This is caught. Touchdown. Donovan Peoples-Jones with his second touchdown of the night. And the Titans have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Extra point right down the middle. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. There's the Titan kick team as they run up and send this one away. The return man down to a knee, and this will come out to the 25-yard line.
Here we go. Here the we Dolphins go. at the line ready for their next drive. They've been rolling the last couple of drives, each inning in touchdowns. So this game is flipped. They were down. Now they're up with the football. We'll see how they handle it. Can we get a spy on the headset now between the head coach and offensive coordinator? Because they've been in attack mode. Had to get back into the game. Now they have the lead. Do you stay on the attack? Or do you dial it back a little bit to try and protect this lead? Well, my cop-out answer would be somewhere in the middle. I think it's going to be a fine line, is it not? I think you're exactly right. But I do think if they can stay aggressive, and keep them on their heels, they'll be best served that way. In motion, Hill. To throw again on second down, Tua. And this one is incomplete. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and get the football right back because your friend, Old Momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trick to the opposite side, and all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. The offense on third down tonight, they've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and seven. On the right side open is Gesicki. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Two of finding Gesicki there for a Dolphin first. And that pickup of a first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? That's so frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or take away. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it. And the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. And strong running there as he's across midfield and down to the 49. 121 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the night's gone on. So operating from Tennessee territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. A give. Dobbins trying the right side. And great blocking downfield as he's got this almost to the 35-yard line. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. On first and 10, it's Dobbins. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Now the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive gain, that's nice, but work some clock. Yeah, you're exactly right, but the problem for them is still within a possession, so they can't just sit on it running the ball. They'll have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. An option handoff here to Dobbins. And he'll follow his blockers there all the way down to the 23-yard line. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Dolphins first down. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. And not totally go. home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Option play, and they'll hand to Dobbins. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. You'd have to think likely another running play coming here, second and 11. Dobbins running out of the gun. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. 
Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll be their second, so one more chance to stop the clock here. And we'll be back. On third down, here's Dalvitz powering forward. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. J.K. Dobbins with his sixth rushing touchdown on the year. And the Dolphins are looking to make it two straight as they add on to this fourth quarter lead. Well, they were looking to pick up the first down on third and short. They got a little more than they bargained for, finding the end zone as well. And oftentimes in short yardage situations, you get a lot of defenders stacked near the line of scrimmage partners. So if you can get past that first wave, there's usually room to roam, and he found it. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And the lead now up to 14. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And this is going to be returned from middle of the end zone. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. So remember, Charles, last time they were out here, they scored, but they just saw the opposition score, and they're trailing right now, so they're trying to keep... And that's caught inside the 30! And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. So the field flips here as they'll go to work at the 20 now on first and 10. Now we've got movement up front. I think this is going to be on the Titans. A full start backs him up five, first and 15. Willis to throw. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked up by Xavier Howard. And the Dolphins are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. Well, I mean, field goals probably aren't going to cut it at this point. This was touchdown or bust, and unfortunately for them, it turned out to be bust. Yeah, they're feeling like they've got to force the issue here. Maybe take some chances they wouldn't have earlier in the game. But give credit to this defense. They've really stood tall throughout, and they come up with the interception in the end zone. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Charles, why didn't they just take the knee there? You're asking the question that I'm asking as well because we've seen a lot of football where coaches decide maybe they get a little greedy. I don't know if they're doing it for stats or for what reason. We've seen it happen in college. And we have in the NFL. A miracle of the Meadowlands. All they had to do was take a knee and the game was over. The Giants ran it one more time. Ball popped free. Philadelphia picks it up and wins the game. What year was that? 1978. I think it was in November. Down. So it's a win for the Dolphins here, and it was a strong performance by Tua that helped lead the way. Yeah, he really had his A game tonight. He threw a couple of touchdown passes, and he was instrumental in earning this victory.